Father, we want to thank you this morning. We want to thank you for the privilege that you have given us to come before you, to come in your house and worship you, come in your house and hear you speaking. We pray this moment, we pray for this few minutes as we hear your word. The Lord, you will speak to each and every person gathered in this place. We pray that your words will come with the force that through the preaching and the teaching of your words, you will meet our needs. So Lord, bless us. Bless our time. Visit your people in a special way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You can take your seat. Let's give a big hand to the Lord as we take our seats. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Sifiwe. Bwana Sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Sifiwe. Praise the Lord. We thank God this uh, morning for this privilege that the Lord has given us. To hear his word. I'm also glad this morning to share with you the word. I've been here since Monday. Uh, Tuesday we begin our meeting. I want to thank you all for your warm welcome. I have talk to some of you. Thank you for your open heart and your warm welcome. I have really enjoyed my stay and, my, and your hospitality. I also want to, to thank uh, Dr. Kimaro I have really burdened this man. This man, I think, if it was at work, he deserved holiday. <laughs> if, 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 I, if I was working, <laughs> if I was working in this, I would ask for his his leave. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work. I thank you for your spirit. We have worked together very well. Let's give the Lord for this one Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. I also want to uh, to thank Reverend uh, James Rubadanja. Napenda ni mshukuru mchungaji James Rubadanja. An old friend of mine. Ni mrafiki wangu wa zamani sana. We met some years ago. Tulikutana miaka iliyopita. When we met we didn't know where this friendship will end. And sometimes when you meet people, it is for his purpose. I think you need to make sure every time you meet people, you need to behave and be good. <laughs> Because you, you don't know tomorrow. And I want to thank him for welcome me Nina sana kwa and his invitation. Na kunipa wa huu. Thank you, Reverend, for your invitation. Asante sana kwa there kwa are a lot of preachers, good preachers. Hear him. Msikilize. God is using him. Mungu God is, will continue using him. Na Amen. Amen. Waifeso. Mlango wa kwanza mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa saba tafadhali I have a good leader <laughs> Nina msomaji mzuri <laughs> Paulo mtume wa Kristo Yesu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu kwa watakatifu walioko Efeso Neema na iwe kwenu na amani zitokazo kwa Mungu Baba yetu na kwa Bwana Yesu Kristo Atukuzwe Mungu Baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Aliyetubariki kwa baraka zote za rohoni katika ulimwengu wa roho ndani yake Kristo kama vile alivyotuchagua katika yeye kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu ili tuwe watakatifu watu wasio na hatia mbele zake katika pendo kwa kuwa alitangulia kutuchagua 
ili tufanywe wanawe kwa njia ya Yesu Kristo sawa sawa na uradhi wa mapenzi yake na usifiwe utukufu wa neema yake ambayo ametuneemesha katika huyo mpendo katika yeye huyo kwa damu yake tunao kombozi wetu masamaa ya dhambi sawa sawa na wingi wa neema yake amen amen, amen. amen. thank you asante sana This morning I want to share with you Asubuhi ya leo ninataka nishirikie na ninyi about the blessings that we have kuhusu baraka tulizo nazo in Christ Jesus katika Kristo Yesu the blessings that we have in Jesus baraka tulizo nazo katika Yesu sometimes we walk in this life wakati mwingine tunapoenda katika maisha sometimes we worry and do a lot of things wakati mwingine tunapatwa na hofu na kufanya mambo mengi sana not realizing what we have in Christ tukiwa hatujui ni nini tulicho nacho katika Kristo we have blessing in Christ tunazo baraka katika Yesu and this morning we want to take time wakati wa asubuhi hii tutachukua muda to highlight what we have in Christ kuonyesha tu kile tulicho nacho katika Kristo until we know mpaka tujue until we realize mpaka tujue what we have in Christ mpaka tutakapojua kile ambacho tunacho katika Kristo we can walk in them tunaweza tukaenda katika we can experience them na tunaweza tukakutana nazo sometimes we don't experience wakati mwingine hatukutani nazo oh what we have in Christ vile ambavyo vyote tunavyo katika Bwana because we don't know kwa sababu hatuvitambui so the letter that we have read this morning it is the letter of Ephesians ni barua ya waefeso and Paul is writing to the Christians of Ephesians Paulo anawaandikia wa Kristo wa Efeso unlike any other letters that we read tofauti na barua nyingine ambazo huwa tunazisoma in those letters Paul is trying to uh, warn people against maybe false prob- uh, false teachings Hey, katika nyaraka nyingine hizo katika maandiko mengine barua nyingine Paulo anayaribu kuwaonya wa Kristo juu ya mafundisho yasiyo sahihi. Oh there is something wrong that is happening in that church. Na kama kuna au kama kuna jambo ambalo si sawa linatokea katika church. So Paul is trying to correct those wrong doing. Na kwa hiyo Paulo anajaribu kusahihisha mambo ambayo si sahihi. But the letter of Ephesians is very unique. Lakini barua kwa Waefeso ni ya kipekee sana. Because we don't see Paul writing or, or warning them against anything hatumuoni paulo akionya kama ilivyo kawaida kwenye barua nyingine but it is just a letter of encouragement ni barua ya kuatia moyo so because of time let me just start from verse number 3 wacha nianze na mstari wa 3 kwa sababu is encouraging the christians of ephesians paulo anawatia moyo wa kristo wa ephesians blessed be god of our lord jesus christ kwa kuwa mungu baba wa bwana wetu yesu kristo who has blessed us as with every spiritual blessing ambaye ametubariki kwa kila zawadi ya kiroho in heavenly places in Christ katika uwepo wa kimbingu katika Kristo so here is the blessings that we have in Christ kwa hiyo hapa ni baraka ambazo tunazo katika Kristo God has blessed us Mungu ametubariki with every spiritual blessing na kila baraka ya rohoni in Christ Jesus katika Kristo Yesu and Paul is writing to the saved believers na yesu ana eh, paulo anawaandikia waliokombolewa that you are blessed kwamba mmebarikiwa you are blessed mmebarikiwa you are blessed mmebarikiwa this is the blessings that you have na baraka mlizonazo ni hizi that god has blessed kwamba mungu amewabariki and this is the news that we don't know na hizi ndio habari ambazo atizi do you know that god has blessed you hivi unajua ya kwamba mungu amekubariki if god say we are blessed bwana akisema tumebarikiwa indeed we are blessed tumebarikiwa kweli this morning asubuhi ya leo you might be going through things unaweza ukao unapitia mambo and you say pastor maybe that is true na unasema labda mchungaji jambo lile ni kweli you don't know what i am going through huwezi jua ninapitia nini you don't know what is happening unajua nini kinatokea but i want to declare the word of god upon your life mimi nataka nitangaze neno la bwana juu yako this is what god is saying upon your life na kwamba hiki ndicho bwana anasema kwa ajili ya maisha yako that you are blessed wewe umebarikiwa you are blessed wewe umebarikiwa 
you are blessed. Wewe there are people who move around. Kuna watu they go to pastors and pastors. Kwa kwa churches mchungaji. and churches. Makanisa na makanisa. Places and places. Mahali na mahali. To look for the blessings. But the Bible says we are blessed. We are blessed. But these blessings hizi, it is not anywhere. Sio kila mahali. They are not in joining the church. They are not in planani. becoming a member of a church. Kwa wewe ni the Bible mahali. says nasema, this blessings are in Christ. Yako kat, iko Christo. Are in Christ. Iko so if we want to walk in the blessings of God, kama unataka kutembea katika baraka za Bwana, if we want to experience these blessings, kama unataka kukutana na baraka za Bwana, we need to be in Christ. Ni lazima uingie ndani ya Kristo. The problem is many people come to church Many people are called Christians, but they are blessed. They are not blessed because they are not connected to Christ. So there is a blessings when we are in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible continues to say, These blessings are special. Spiritual blessings. Baraka hizi ni baraka za kiroho. You are blessed with spiritual blessings. Umebarikiwa kwa baraka za rohoni. This is where people miss. Hapa ndo watu wanasahau. Because these blessings kwa sababu baraka hizi are not in physical. Ah, sio za kimwili. They are not physical blessings. Sio baraka za kimwili. But the Bible says Biblia inasema they are spiritual blessings. Ni baraka za kiroho. The blessings that we have in Christ. Baraka tulizonazo katika Kristo. They are in the spiritual places. Ziko katika ulimwengu wa roho. Ziko katika sehemu ya kiroho. What we need to understand and do tunachotakiwa kufanya na kuelewa is that these blessings baraka hizi they are in the spirit ziko katika roho but they translate physical na zinaweza zikatafsiriwa katika namna ya mwili so we need to be spiritual enough ni lazima uwe kiroho sana to tap the blessings ili uweze kuteka baraka hizo because these blessings are in the spirit kwa sababu baraka hizi ni za kiroho to reach the spiritual place ili ufike pale mahali pa kiroho and when we reach and tap and connect in these blessings that are in the spirit na tunapofikia na kugusa baraka hizi ambazo ziko katika ulimwengu wa roho we are able to take them in the physical kuwa katika ulimwengu wa mwili what am i what i'm trying to say ni nini najaribu kusema hapa that these blessings are not physical hizi baraka sio za mwilini there are people who have money kuna watu wenye hela but their life are miserable maisha yao ni magumu sana there are people who are educated kuna watu wako na elimu their life is miserable maisha yao ni matatizo there are people who are, who are driving good car we wa- would want to drive kuna watu wanaendesha gari lolote lile ambalo unaweza ukaliwazia there are people who live in nice houses kuna watu wanaishi kwenye nyumba nzuri but if you ask them lakini ukiwauliza they wish maybe they could not be born wanaweza wakasema hata ni kwa nini nilizaliwa they are frustrated wamechanganyikiwa with all the money that they have na hela zote walizonazo because our blessings are not physical kwa sababu baraka zetu si za mwili our blessings are spiritual baraka zetu ni za rohoni now when we are blessed spiritually tukibarikiwa rohoni the spiritual blessings come physical baraka zile za rohoni zinakuja sasa kwenye mwili and they become reality na zinakuwa ndio ukweli and that's why you can have few na wakati mwingine unaweza ukawa na happy lakini una furaha that's why you can have many many things unaweza ukawa na vitu vingi but be happy uwe na furaha not because of what we have sio kwa sababu una nini but because of the source of the blessings lakini ni kwa sababu ya hasidi ya let me tell you that god is the source of our blessings wacha nikwambie kwamba mungu ndio asili ya baraka god is the source of our blessings mungu ndio asili ya baraka and if we cannot find blessings in god na kama wewe ukutafuta baraka kwa Bwana all the blessings that we have baraka tulizonazo are in vain hazina maana blessings number one, uh, uh, number one is we are blessed baraka ya kwanza ninayotaka kukuambia ni kwamba tumebarikiwa kwa kila namna ya baraka ya rohoni number two, number verse number 
He has chosen us. God has chosen us. We are chosen. We are selected. The book of 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Peter encouraged the Christians that you are the chosen generation. The holy priesthood. Do you know that God has chosen you? You are chosen. And if you continue reading this, the Bible says we are chosen in Christ. You are a peculiar people. You are a special person. And many Christians do not know, do not realize what they are. Unless we come to a point of realizing what we are, we will experience the greatness of God. You are chosen by God. Can you touch yourself and say, I am chosen? Can, can you convince yourself that I am chosen? You are special in the eyes of God. You see, if you realize what I'm talking about, I'm also talking about our identity. Identity. If you don't know your identity, you will not take what you are supposed to take. This is your identity that you are chosen by God. You are special by God. See, the devil knows that. Demons knows that. That's why they bring complication situation in your life to disapprove the word of God. You are chosen. And verse 5, the Bible says he has predestinated us to be adopted as the sons of God. God has adopted us. God has put us to be the children of God. This is the blessings that we have. That we are children of almost high God. And sometimes Christians do not realize that they are children of almost high God. They don't know that they are sons and daughters of the king. Imagine if a son, a daughter of a king, a president, or any prominent person will walk around not realizing that his father is a king. Not understanding that his father is honorable, is a president. He will walk miserable. He will maybe go begging. He will not live the life he's supposed to live. He will not enjoy the blessings that he is supposed to inherit. Many Christians do not know that God is their father. They do not know that they are sons and daughters of God. By saying this, I need to emphasize being a daughter, a son of Christ does, does not mean coming to church. Coming to church is good. Wow, singing in the choir and serving is good. But those things do not make us to be children of God. Unless we make a personal 
commitment to God and give our life to Him. He adopt us as His children. But let me talk to you this morning. You might be here. You are wondering what does it take for you to be a child of God? Maybe you don't know you are a child of God. I want to tell you it is possible for you to be a child of God. You can give your life to him. And when you give his life to him, he will adopt you and make you his child. And if you are here, you have not given your life to Christ. You are not a child of God. No matter what you are going through, no matter what you have done, Jesus is calling you. Jesus wants to make you his child. And this is my invitation to you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He is calling you. He wants you. Amen. Hallelujah. Kwa nini usimchangilie Bwana kwa makofi na vigelegele vingi mtumishi wa Mungu kama unaelewa hili tunalolisema We are the children of God. Sisi ni watoto wa Mungu. One thing that I have enjoyed in my life is to be a child of God. Kati ya kitu ambacho nimefurahia maisha yangu God is my father. Mungu ni baba yangu. And I think the biggest title I have na kati ya um title kubwa niliona hayo is to be the child of God. Ni kuwa mwana wa That God knows my name. Mungu ananijua. I am a child of God. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. I am a child of God. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. I belong to God. Mimi ni mali yake. God is mine. Mungu ni wa kwangu. This can also happen to you. Inaweza ikatokea kwako. Let me begin to close. Wacha nianze kufunga. Verse number seven. In him we have redemption through his blood and the forgiveness of sin. Yeah. Soma kiswahili. Read in Swahili. Efeso moja saba. Efeso moja msari wa saba inasema. Katika yei huyo kwa damu yake tunao kombozi wetu masamaa ya dhambi sawa sawa na wingi wa neema yake we have the forgiveness of sin tunao msamaha wa dhambi this is the blessings that we have na hii ndio baraka tuliyo nayo one of the problem with people shida walionao watu wengi they carry guilt wana dhamira ya kujishtaki they carry guilt wana dhamira ziwashtaki because their sins are not forgiven wakidhani dhambi zao hazijasamehewa it's no more to fear death ni kitu cha kawaida kuogopa kifo but most of the people fear death watu wengi huogopa kifo because they are not sure of their life wa kwa sababu hawana uhakika na maisha yao they know they carry sins wanajua wana dhambi and many people are in fear watu wengi wako katika hofu you know even the fear of the demons unajua hata kuogopa mashetani the fear of the witchcraft kuogopa uchawi the fear of all these uh, powers of the darkness yani kuogopa nguvu za giza they are rooted in sin na kwa do you know Unajua? that you can come to a place of knowing of knowing that my sins are forgiven dhambi zangu zimesamehewa my sins are forgiven dhambi zangu zimesamehewa i want to ask you this question nataka nikuulize swali hili is your sins forgiven dhambi zako zimesamehewa is your sins forgiven dhambi zako zimesamehewa is your sins forgiven dhambi zako zimesamehewa this is the blessings that we have na hii ndio baraka tuliyo this is the privilege that we have with god na hii ndio pendeleo tuliyo nao katika mungu that there is forgiveness of sin kwamba upo msamaha wa dhambi in christ jesus katika kristo yesu i don't not, I don't have a lot of time to uh, go on on the forgiveness of sin. But, but let me make this statement that our forgiveness of sin and even if you read this scripture our forgiveness of sin is because we are in Christ. 
So we don't just repent. Hatutubu tu. I have seen people who cry, cry. Ninaona watu wakilia na kulia. Oh, yeah, mwesina, yeah, mimi mwesina, ni mdambi, yeah, mwesina. mwesina. Mimi, mimi ni mdambi. They go back. Oh, they come to church. Oh, yeah, mwesina, yeah, mwesina. Wanaenda, wanarudi tena wakimba hivyo hivyo. Mimi ni mdambi, mimi ni mdambi. They feel their sins are not forgiven. Wanajisikia kwamba dhambi zao hajia zamehewa. They repent, they cry. Wanatubu na kulia. But they don't feel that forgiveness of sin. Lucky. I wish I could teach more on the forgiveness of sin. But let me summarize like this. The forgiveness of sin it is the gift that we have in God. It doesn't necessarily start by us doing anything. But it started by us being in Christ. Why am I emphasizing for us being in Christ with your own effort with your power with your religion you can't overcome the power of sin the power of sin is overcome through the blood of Jesus through the name of Jesus there is power in the blood of Jesus if you Try by your own effort. That's why you are failing. That's why you repent. You still feel you are a sinner. Because you cannot overcome sin with your power. But it is in Christ our sins are forgiven. It is in Christ we become new creation. The Bible says if anyone is in Christ Jesus He's a new creation. Old things has passed away. Behold, new things have come. You might be struggling with your past, but this is the word of God to you. Jesus has come to give you new life, and this new life cannot be achieved by your power, by your religious. There is nothing you can do for you to be forgiven it is by you coming to Christ and when you come to Christ God will do this miracle of forgiving your sin you might be here and say pastor I am tired with this sin but I can't get it I can't get rid of it you are a right candidate you are the right candidate because no one can take away the sin if you are able to take away your sin by your own effort that's why that, that we can say Christ died in vain you are failing to take away to deal with that sin because you need something you need Christ and this Christ has ability to take away the sin I want to finish like this go to your text if you look at your text I like Bible study I don't like preaching about all these things all this. I want to preach about the Bible I want to give to you the Bible if you don't want to receive my words you don't want to receive the Bible I try to give the Bible as it is to you so look at your Bible the Bible says these blessings we have talked about, it is in Christ. We have talked about that we are chosen. We are chosen in Christ. Are you able to see that in your Bible? Oh, it's only me. We have talked about the forgiveness of sin. This forgiveness of sin, it is in Christ. Everything is in Christ. Uh-huh. Amen. I'm saying everything Nina is in Christ. Christ is the source of everything. Therefore, 
I want to say stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. Pastor, I am sick. Uh-huh. Stay in Christ. Pastor, you know these things are happening. Stay in Christ. Because it is in Christ where we find our blessings. And many things in this world we will go through circumstances. We will go through issues that pluck us out from the hands of Jesus. But my encouragement is stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. And this morning, I, I want to share with you the true gospel. Are you suffering? Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. You might be here. Your marriage is not in order. Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. You might be here. You come to this service with your worries, with your problem. Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. Let nothing pluck you out of Christ. In the book of John chapter 15, the Bible talk about abiding in Christ. That if we cannot bear the fruits if we don't abide in Christ. Abide in Christ. Are you a student? Abide in Christ. People will say until you finish your study. That's why you can start praying I, I, I am just, I'm just a student. You, 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 I can't be serious as we see this. Uh, stay in Christ. There are people who say, until I get married, if you are not married, you, you, you can't pray very well. Uh, that's a lie of the devil. In every situation, stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. Let nothing pluck you in the heart of Christ. And sometimes people think I have achieved a lot. I think this one I cannot, I can move alone. Ah, that's a dangerous place to be. Do you know the safest place to be? The safest place to put your job. The safest place to put your degrees. The safest place to put your title. It is in Christ. It is in Christ. That's why Paul says, I am persuaded. There is nothing that will pluck me out of your hand. Is it death? Is it hunger? Is it persecution? No, I am persuaded that there is nothing which will keep me out of the hands of Jesus. Let's bow our head. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I believe God has sent you because of you. You might be here. You have not given your life to Christ. And you know if you will die today, you are not going to heaven. God is calling you. God is saying to you, come my son. Come my son. There is a call of God in this place. God is calling you in the name of Jesus. I want to pray with you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, that you can give your life. I pray in the name of Jesus for you. If you have not given your life to Jesus, can you follow me this prayer wherever you are? It is your life. It is your life. You would die alone. We don't know next year or tomorrow how many of us will be still alive. This might be your last opportunity. Can you 
use this opportunity. I have a girlfriend. What about, what about that boyfriend? Leave alone that. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend will die alone. And Jesus is calling you alone. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these souls. I pray for these people that have not given their life to Jesus. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, touch their lives. Just follow me this prayer of confession. Lord Jesus, I repent my sin. Forgive my sin. I cannot do without you. I come to you by faith. Receive me as your child. Forgive my sin. Today, I give my life totally to you. That I will walk this new life. By faith. In the name of Jesus. And I also want to pray for you. Maybe you have received Jesus Christ. But you are not walking. You are not in Christ. Things of the world has taken away your attention. Your life is not committed to God. God is calling you to commit yourself to him. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is plucking you out of the hand of Jesus. We cancel it. In the name of Jesus. We pray for you right now that the spirit of the living God will minister to your life. In the name of Jesus. We break every power of the darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break every power of sin that is eating your spiritual life this morning in the name of Jesus be set free be set free be set free from everything that is oppressing your life in Jesus name in Jesus name we declare freedom over your life that you are free you are free you are free, you are free. in the name of Jesus that your life will be committed to God in Jesus name and we pray for the sick we pray for the sick if you are sick. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. Be healed now. Be healed now. Receive healing now in your body. In the name of Jesus, we pray for those who have come with problems. May the Lord meet your problems and touch you. May he give you freedom. Freedom from your worries. In the name of Jesus. Those who have got needs in this service may the Lord surprise your needs in Jesus name Amen, Amen. let's give Amen. the Lord a big hand thank you so much thank you Reverend thank you Reverend